Hello there, Ray here, and today I will be showing how you can get back your first dragon that gives 12,000 XP as well as another dragon egg. The first time that you kill the ender dragon in your world, it will drop 12,000 XP as well as give you a dragon egg. But after that, when you resummon the dragon and kill it, you will not get a dragon egg and you will only get 500 XP. A couple of weeks ago, I showed how you could freeze the dragon resummoning sequence in single player by relogging during it. A technical player by the name of Sign Lab told me that if you do this in 1.10, the dragon kill NBT value will change back to zero. Then after one minute, the dragon will respawn, and then when this dragon is killed, it will give the 12,000 XP as well as a new dragon egg. I did some testing and figured out how you could do this in multiplayer as well as in single player. The first method that can be used in single player is by starting up the dragon resummoning sequence. And then any time during the sequence, you just have to relog, and this works in single player. And then once you come in, you see that the sequence has frozen, and now the Ender Dragon health bar is up at the top of the screen. Now if you wait one minute, the dragon will be resummoned in up there, and if you kill that dragon, it will drop 12,000 XP as well as another dragon egg. Another way to do this is just to resummon the dragon, and then any time during the dragon fight, you can just relog. Notice how the dragon is over here. Now by relogging, this will change the previously killed NPT from 1 back to 0. So now the game thinks that you have never killed the dragon in your world. So the dragon is no longer there, but instead the dragon respawns up at the top. Now this new dragon has the NPT tag of um, previously killed 0. So now it will drop 12,000 XP instead of 500. And it will also give you a dragon egg because it thinks that you never got one before. You can keep repeating this process and keep getting XP's as well as more dragon eggs in your survival world. To get this to work in multiplayer, you have to do the two methods that I showed with my end stone and torch farm, where you move the dragon away from the main island, and then you unload the island. This will cause the dragon kill NPT to change back to zero. The other method is the one that I'm using here, where I remotely load the chunks outside of the main island, and then I move the dragon away into those chunks. Now that the game sees that the dragon isn't killed, but there is no dragon here, so it will spawn in a new one right after one minute. After you have sent at least one dragon away, the newly spawned dragon that will spawn here after one minute will change the previously killed NPT to zero. So now the game will think that this new dragon here is the first dragon that you ever had in your game, which means that this dragon here will drop 12,000 XP rather than just 500 XP and will also give you a dragon egg. So now when we kill the dragon, you'll see that it will drop a dragon egg and it will place this at the highest block at 0, 0. This is probably due to changes made in 1.10 pre-release 1 to fix a problem with converting your old 1.8 dragon into your 1.9 world. I ran into this behavior while testing out some changes that were made from 1.8 to 1.9. So if you don't kill your 1.8 dragon, and then you upgrade to 1.9, you'll get this frozen dragon. It's essentially a dragon that doesn't have any AI. So if you come over here, here I just summon in a dragon with no AI, same thing. It doesn't damage you, um, you can't throw ender pearls at it, you can't damage it, you can't do anything to it. It pretty much just sits there and flies there. Now, this is a problem at 1.9 because since this dragon is here, you cannot even summon in a new dragon since this dragon is seen in the game. This was fixed in 1.10. That is probably why getting the old dragon works in 1.10 but not in 1.9. There is a world download in the description. And when you get the world, all you have to do is summon in the dragon, like you normally would with the ender crystals. And then once the resummoning phase is done and the first dragon is spawned in, it will be taken out into unloaded chunks. And then, after one minute, the next dragon that spawns in, you'll want to keep. So just remove some of the redstone, and this will allow the dragon to stay here. And then if you kill that dragon, you'll get the 12,000 XP as well as another dragon egg. There you have it, guys. How to get your old 12,000 XP dragon as well as another dragon egg. If you found this interesting, show me with a like. If you'd like to see other tricks like this, subscribe. And don't forget to comment. Bye-bye.